Hi, this is Rob. This is one of the time-lapse movements you can make in camera with a Sony Angle Shift add-on app. The Angle Shift add-on app works with the Sony time-lapse app. The Angle Shift app allows you to do one of four movements of the time-lapse stills that were recorded with the Sony time-lapse app. One, you can make a panning motion from left to right. Two, a tilt motion, which is a movement from the bottom to the top. Three, a zoom out motion. The zoom out motion is what I will be demonstrating in this video. And four, a custom, which is a combination of zooming out and moving from the lower left corner to the upper right corner of the stills. To download these apps to your camera, you need to go to the Sony website, playmemoriescameraapps.com. I'll put a link in the description. The Angle Shift app costs $4.99 and the Time Lapse app costs $9.99. The Angle Shift app will not work on its own. You need the Time Lapse app version 3.10 or later. If your Time Lapse app is not version 3.10 or later, you need to do a free update to your Time Lapse app. Let's take a look on how this app works. I'm using the Sony A6000 camera. After you've downloaded the Angle Shift add-on app, go to the menu here, Application List. In your list of applications, the Angle Shift add-on app will not appear because it is an add-on app to the Time Lapse app. But you can go to the Application Management to confirm that you have the app correctly downloaded to the camera. Go to Manage and Remove. There it is on top, the last app that I downloaded. Let's exit out of here by hitting the menu button. Now go to the Time Lapse app. When I use the Time Lapse app, I usually use the custom setting. I'm going to go to the application settings by hitting the menu. Go to application settings. I usually use a one second interval and take 750 stills, which will give me a 25 second time lapse at 30 frames per second. This duration time, 12 minutes, 29 seconds, is the time it'll take to record the 750 still shots. To use the Angle Shift app, the file format you need to choose is either this one, stills, or this one, stills and movie. Because the Angle Shift app works with the actual stills that are shot with the time lapse app. But when you choose stills and movie, the minimum interval jumps to 3 seconds. Thus, I'm going to choose stills. Now the interval is what I want, one second interval between stills. Hit enter, go to application top, hit enter. Now I am ready to start taking my stills. Here's what I'm going to take stills of, this arch monument in Valencia, Spain. Using my Sony A6000 camera, the time lapse app, a Sony wide angle converter lens on top of a Sony 20mm lens. The wide angle converter lens will convert my 20mm lens into a 16mm lens. I made a video about the converter lens and I will put a link in the description. When making these type of time lapses you probably want to go as wide as possible. I'm also using this mini tripod and I'll put a link in the description for a video about this mini tripod. Now press the shutter and let the time lapse app Start recording the stills. Now after you've finished recording your stills, go back into the time lapse app and go here to Angle Shift Add-on. This is the time lapse image list. I took two separate sets of time lapse stills and they are listed here. So choose the one you want to apply the Angle Shift app to. I'll choose the top one which is the Arc Monument. It starts playing a review of the time lapse stills. Hit the center button to pause. Hit menu to go to the angle shift add on. Choose which effect you want pan, which pans from left to right, tilt, which moves from the bottom of the image to the top, zoom, which zooms out, no effect, which produces a time lapse movie without any effect, and custom which is a combination of zooming out and moving from the lower left corner to the upper right corner of the stills. Let's take a look at this option button. Here you can choose some options for the final time lapse video. Frame rate, 24p or 30p. I'll choose 30p. Movie size, 1080 or 720. I'll choose 1080. 
and a fader. I don't use this option. I'm assuming it fades the end of the movie into black. At the bottom, I have 750 stills, which will give me a 25 second time lapse at 30 frames per second. Hit enter to set these settings. Now choose the effect. I'll choose zoom. Hit enter. You can preview what this time lapse will look like. But first, you can choose a start frame and an end frame. The start frame is which still you want the movement effect to begin. The end frame is when you choose which still you want the movement effect to end. There is this rotate feature in which I don't know why it exists. Frame settings. This is where you choose the start and end frame. Hit the C2 button. Select start frame. The blue flag is the start frame. You can choose which still frame to start the movement effect. I'm going to start right at the beginning with the first frame. Hit enter. Go to frame settings. Choose end frame. You can choose which frame you want the movement effect to end. I'm going to use the last frame. Now go to save to start the angle shift add-on app to start processing the time lapse video. Hit the center button. The estimated processing time is 18 minutes and 43 seconds for this particular time lapse. Choose save and hit enter. This is a process bar. Anytime you can choose cancel by hitting the menu button. OK, movie creation complete. Hit OK. And it brings you back in the time lapse app, so if you want to shoot another set of time lapse stills. I'm going to go back into the angle shift app. I have my two sets of original time lapse stills and two time-lapse movies that I created with the Angle Shift app. Hit the play button to exit the screen. Hit menu. Then up to exit application. Exit. Here's the time-lapse video right out of the Sony a6000 camera. Okay, that's it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel.